Okay, this is part three. So in Maggie's testimony, she stated when she came downstairs and found Mr. Borden dead, she noticed that Lizzie was wearing a blue dress. Her dress had no blood on it. This is important information for later on in the investigation. Although Lizzie's answers were inconsistent and sometimes labeled as strange, her belongings and her room were never thoroughly searched. They did a quick sweep through search and that's it because no one in the home was suspected of the murders. The courts would later say that it was a lack of diligence on the police's part that would make this case go cold. So on August 6, Lizzie was made the prime suspect and notified by a police officer and the mayor that showed up at her home. They left an officer to stay in the home as she was the prime suspect and he later saw her tearing up a dress, a blue dress. When he asked her what she was doing, she said it, her dress was covered in paint and she was going to burn it, but she didn't want to start a fire, so she was tearing it. It was never found to be the one she wore on the day of the murders, but suspicious nonetheless. Many theories go on about Lizzie and um, Sullivan having a relationship and so on and so forth, but nothing conclusive was ever found. So what do you think happened? Let me know in the comments below. Now on to our next state, Michigan.